Comptia Network Plus is one of the most sought after entry level certifications if you're considering to start a career in networking. I got certified 24 years back and I can safely say that almost every week I use the knowledge that I acquired in this certification. Hey friends, welcome back to this channel. My goal is to be a resource for those that are starting their career in the networking industry through course tutorials, tips and guides just like this one. So if you're new here, welcome. So today we're going to be looking at the CompTIA Network Plus certification. We want to understand what is covered in this course. What are the core exam objectives and why you should consider this as your starting certification. So I'm going to look at a few points. The first one is I have 24 years experience. I got certified in Network Plus about 24 years ago. And I can safely say that the knowledge that I've acquired from this course has been relevant in my journey in IT up until today. So if you're looking for a course that's going to give you a very good solid foundation, this is the certification for you. The second aspect is that it assumes zero knowledge. You have no knowledge at all about networking. So it's going to start by breaking down networking concepts from grassroots level, building you up to more advanced concepts. There are not so many certifications on the market that are able to do that. Certifications such as CCNA are going to assume that you've got an understanding on networking and networking concepts, which is why some people find CCNA a challenge as a starting certification. And the third part is that it provides broad knowledge. Now, remember when we were in high school, we did eight subjects ranging from maths, geography, science, biology, chemistry, physics, agriculture, you know, we had a whole range. And the reason why we had a whole range of subjects was for us to get a good understanding of different aspects of life to help us narrow down in which, fo in which area we wanted to focus. So when we went to advanced level, the subjects shrunk from eight to about three. We started narrowing down to specialize. This is something similar in networking. When you are starting, you need broad knowledge. You need to understand how routers work, how switches work, what is wireless, how does it work? The whole world of cloud, how does cloud operate? What's in the cloud? What different cloud options are there? Security on one end. What is security? Cybersecurity. What is covered in cybersecurity? There's a need for you to get this breadth of knowledge before you can start narrowing down into different verticals. And Network Plus gives us that breadth of knowledge. So these are the three reasons that I love about the certification. But hey, this video is not about me. It's about you. So you need to decide whether this certification is best for you or not. So I'm going to use the criteria. If you're going to be familiar with what we're going to cover in today's video, as in you know about the concepts, you know about the implementation, and you can tick all the boxes and say, Tanay, I know this information, I've done it, I've implemented it, then fantastic, this certification is not for you. But if you're hearing this information for the first time, then you might want to consider Network Plus as your starting certification. So let us begin. The course is broken down into five domains or five areas of focus. The first one is network concepts. This is where you're going to be taught how networks operate. And the biggest framework that you're going to learn about is the OSI model. If you don't know about the OSI model, then I would say go sign for this course, man. You need it. You need to understand how the OSI model works. You're going to look at TCP IP, mainly the IP address protocol. What is an IP address? IPv4 versus IPv6. 
you're going to learn in the concepts. Remember, we're just throwing concepts at this stage. You are going to learn about the appliances that you find on the network, your routers, your switches, your firewalls, your access points, all the appliances that you find on the network are going to be covered in the concepts. In addition to all this, you look at the different cables that carry the traffic on a network. Copper cable, fiber cable, UTP, single mode, multi-mode fiber. You look at the connectors, RJ45, LC, SC. I'm just throwing this information to help you realize what is covered in this module of the Network Plus course. So now when you understand the concepts, the course then goes ahead into the second domain, which looks at network implementation. Right, there's no point for us to learn and not implement. So we need to implement what we've learned. So what happens here? You're going to learn about routing. How does routing work on a network? When traffic is flowing, what is the criteria that is used to route the traffic? Is it the least cost? Is it hop count? You learn about it. You learn about switching and how switches operate. So a user that's connected here and a machine that's connected here, how do the two talk to each other? You're going to learn terms such as broadcast. You learn terms such as unicast, multicast. You know, how do these terms control the flow of traffic on your network? You look at wireless devices because wireless networks are now more prevalent. How do you control devices on a wireless network. In your home network, your modem has wireless inbuilt, but in a corporate environment, that might not be feasible. So you need something known as a wireless LAN controller, which then controls the access points that are hanging off it, that are providing the wireless signal. So you're gonna learn about these wireless LAN controllers and how they function. So you can see, just by the two modules, there is a lot to learn about. I'm probably going to leave a link in the show notes so that you can click and go to the Comte website to get more detail. So now we know how to, we know the concepts, we know how to implement. We now need to monitor our network. So the third domain focuses on network operations, right? How do we monitor our network to ensure that when performance goes down, we are able to know. So you're going to learn about baselines, right? How do you baseline your network that on a Monday, your network performs, you know, almost like this. And all of a sudden when it drops this way, then you've got a point of concern. You can now address the issues on your network. So you're going to learn about applications such as solar winds, which are used to create a baseline on your network and alert you in the event that something is broken. On my phone, I get alerts when something is down on the network. This is what is contained in the operations phase. So yes, we are now operating our network, fantastic. We need to protect it. So we need to learn about security. Now we're coming into the cyber security space. How do we protect our networks? What are the threats that we need to defend on our networks? What are the vulnerabilities that are inherent on networks and how do we protect against those vulnerabilities? So the security module teaches us how to defend our network. We have something known as defense in depth, right? Having multiple protections on our network to protect the core part of the network, which is data. So if we lose the first line of defense, the second one is able to stand, uh, stand the ground 
And the more we have the layers protecting us, the better we can easily protect our networks. So that is covered in the network security part. And then the last part is network troubleshooting. Right, we need to learn how to troubleshoot our networks. So we're gonna learn the different method, methodologies that we can implement to troubleshoot our network. I'll talk about two. You have the top-down approach, which means that when something is down, you start from the top and try and figure out what is wrong. So if a PC can access the internet, right? If I'm probably taking a top-down approach based on the OSI model, I'm gonna look at the application. So I'm gonna open the web page, you know, and then go to the website, HTTP, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm gonna verify if I can access the web page and then go down the different layers of the OSI, which is why it is important to understand the OSI model and how it works. Or you can shoot from the middle and just break down. You're gonna learn about the different methodologies in this particular module. Now I've just scraped the surface. I haven't even gone too deep because there is, I can't go through the entire syllabus. But if you go on the website, you'll be able to get more detail on the syllabus. And I just want you to just take time and just get a piece of paper, sorry, print it if you can, get a pen, and try and tick the modules that you think you're comfortable. And if your concepts that you're not comfortable with or you have not encountered exceed more than 60%, then you need to go and do this course. But if you know 60% of the information, then probably this course is not for you. But remember one thing, the objective of learning is less about the certification, but it's about understanding the information and the content. So be certain that you have a very good understanding. So some of you are saying, hey, tonight, I love the content about the course, I want to get certified. Where do I go from here? There are many resources that are available that will help you prepare for your Network Plus certification. In terms of books, you can go to the Pearson View site and don't mind, I'm going to leave all the links in the description below where you can find the official study guide. I don't have a Network Plus textbook, but I've got a, a Linux textbook, and this is an official CompTIA textbook, and you can see at the back, it's written by Pearson View. So you can go on the website and get one for Network Plus. I actually recommend the official guide. I, I like the way that is written, uh, but it's not the only one. You can go on to Cybex. They also have their own, you know, version of Network Plus textbooks. Or you can go online. Just, just go online and type Network Plus textbooks. You'll see a lot of official guides that will come up. If you want to go or consider writing the exam, the exam is made out of 90 questions. And those 90 questions are multiple choice. And I think you get given 120 minutes for you to complete the exam. So that's about one minute, 30 seconds per question uh, if I get my math right. Whilst the questions are multiple choice, they are scenario based, right? So you're gonna be given a scenario, user A is calling because X, X, Y, Z is happening. If you are the network administrator, which option would you take A, B, C, or D? So yes, they are multiple choice questions, but they are testing you on real world scenarios. So that's Network Plus. This is the content that is covered. This is the resources that you can find. And this is information about the exam. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.